Hey, it's MK and I am back for another mini class, a mini paper pad class with Shannon over at She's Crafty. Now, um, I know I've said it before, but it's been a week since I said it. And what she's doing is she's trying to use up her six by six paper pad stash. Now, this class is to educate people and um, show people how to use their smaller paper pads, six by eight, six by six, eight by eight. Um, I don't know what other sizes there are. I think there's a two, which is like close to eight and a half by 11. I think it's nine by 12. Anyways, I give up, but um, I am playing along and I thought that it would be great for me to be able to use up these paper pads. Now, other than an aquarium one that I have no problem using up, so I decided not to use that because that would be too easy and cheating, I decided to limit myself for this entire 10 weeks to these four pads. Now I know she says to pick out five, but um, like I said, the aquarium one would be cheating. Really, it's cheating because um, <laughs> I love it so much and I have no problem using it and I'm, I'm almost out of it. So I have these... Um, these paper pads. Now the ones that I'm having a problem using are these two right here. This one is the neutral one and this one here is kind of sort of um, the bright one. So I had no problem using those two and I'm not worried about it but this pastel one it doesn't meet my fancy at all and might end up um, not I don't know. I'm going to have to challenge myself really, really hard to use it. I might even run it through my Cricut and see if I can turn it into some cute images. This one is... it's almost like holiday to me. Now, I know it's just me, but you know, I see autumn, I see fall, which is the same thing. I just said it twice in two different ways. It's Halloween, it's Christmas, it's... it's very holiday. And I'm having a hard time using it because I, I just, I have so many other cute holiday photos and supplies to use that I would not reach for this. So I'm going to have a hard time using this as well. Like I said, I might have to run both of these through my Cricut to use them up. Like this one here I could probably use as clouds. Um, that's just a terrible color. And I love this peach, but... Yeah, and then, I mean, it's just, I'm making up excuses now. And so I'm going to try to use this 10 weeks to get the most out of these papers, not the most out of these papers, to get these papers mostly used up. Yes, that is what I'm, that is what my plan is. It's a little different than Shannon's, but I am taking her initiative to use these up so I can, so I can move on. And what do I have? I have a two-page layout of um, me and my daughter on those little swinging thingies that the faster it goes the more out you go and and you go anyways they're the funnest little swings in the world I picked out two washi tapes this one I don't remember where I got it from but it is a holographic star sparkly silvery tape and then this one here has a gold like rigid going through it gold vein I guess and it's um, an ombre purple Okay, and if you haven't noticed, I'm going to be using purple. So I have lots of purple gemstones in here that I don't use. That's why it's so fat and bulky. I have picked out um, a green and a purple that are kind of sort of in, um, in my pictures. I've got the green seats and then the purple is everywhere. There's purple chains, there's purple bases, there's um, the purple little army things. Um, and so yeah. I wanted to do green and purple. Then I also picked out, so I picked out all the green and purples in those colors. Then I also picked out another one of these puffy sticker sheets that I had. Um, I, I don't know, you know, like no worries and enjoy are pretty much what I wanted to use along with a couple of the, the diamonds, maybe this little star. I'm not really sure, but I probably won't use the whole sheet like I did last week. And then I picked out some stickers they're really super thin stickers that I came from that I came from yes I came from these stickers anyways um these little thin stickers came from a 
sticker book that's made for planners. I, I don't remember what it's called, but I do know that the company that it's from is um, the one with the Happy Planner. That's what it's called, the one with the little discs and your paper sticks on the discs. And then I have a close to my, nope, it's not close to my heart, it's Creative Memories sticker that's uber old that says having a magical time. I don't even know where I got that from, but I pulled these out because they were purple and then I pulled these out because they were black. Now I have three things that are black. And then I also have this um, pearlescent card. Yeah, that's so pretty. Anyways, I pulled that out um, from my stash. Now this is really old creative memories. I have been hoarding this forever. I have about five more sheets but I hoard it um, because it is just, it's so, yeah, I could look at it all day, you guys. And then I went into, because I was thinking about a Tinkerbell. Why do I want to do Tinkerbell? Um, well, I don't really want to do a Tinkerbell theme on this layout because we're not at Disney at all. But my daughter and I are both wearing Tinkerbell t-shirts. And she is uh, mostly in green as well herself. Um, I think green, blue, and yellow are her colors, but I wanna do green and purple. And so I pulled out this, whoa, it's, it's um, glittery. It's got glittery stars, but I pulled out this ombre effect paper with all these little glittery stars and this almost like fairy dust down here and then it goes into purple because of, um, like I said, I just, I thought of Tinkerbell when I was thinking of this layout and I want to put it together like this. The sketch that we are using, what are we using today? Is this one right here by Sketches in Time. Time being the, um, it's not a vegetable, huh? The herb, time. So I am going to stretch this sketch going across two pages. So the first thing that I wanted to do was um, take my large 12 by 12 and possibly stretch it across and then maybe have, um, you know, my photos backed in this green so that way it's not so um, obnoxious, I should say. And I'll flip these over so I'll have four different backgrounds of those. I also have four different backgrounds of purple, but I've never done a purple layout before and I'm super excited, super stoked to do a purple layout and I thought that um, these photos are definitely like purple and greeny and so I, I look forward to seeing them across a two page spread and uh, seeing what I can do with all of this purpleiness. All right, all right, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I took that pearl paper and I went and put it in my um, in my punch. So here's the punch that I used, and it's actually a considered a ribbon punch. And for me, I've always thought that it had two sides, and so I thought on this project I would do both sides. So I love the teeny tiny little scallop on the bottom of the larger scallops or the lace portion of it. And so I was gonna put them both um, at the top and the bottom, even though you don't even see the portion at the bottom, <laughs> which is okay. Uh, I know that it's there, but I, I shuffle around all of my papers. I'm trying to get the placement based on the sketch up in the upper, is that left-hand side? Hmm. Let me do the little L trick and find out. Yep, it's left. <laughs> How many of you guys still do that? Come on. I, I know I have to every now and then. But I got tired of, um, you know, not being able to see the design on the other side. So basically, outside of the green uh, little pieces, I cut everything at three inches. So they're all three by six. Everything in here is three by six. Now the little green pieces are the leftover pieces that I had from matting my photos. I don't, I think my photos are five and a half by three and a half. I, I believe that is um, roughly what size they are. And so I actually had to take two of those off cuts and create a um, an extra photo mat for my fifth photo because I just didn't have enough. I only had four green pieces. And so I basically just glued two pieces together. And then these this polka dot green was what I had left over. All right, back to the layout. Holy cow, too much green. Um, I took my two six inch pieces of this text print 
and I used the border to kind of glue them together and make one long strip. So that is how I got my 12 inch piece. And then I'm taking the two elements that I have on the left and adding them to the right. But instead of down at the bottom, I decided to put them up at the top. And so that way it kind of makes for a, di a diagonal um, flow of the, of the layout. And so now I have going from bottom to top from left to right. If that makes sense. I have no idea. Now, all of my photos are looking over to the left. Every single one of them. <laughs> I love that one where my daughter's just chilling. Anyways, um, I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, I, <laughs> I got squirreled. Um, yeah, all my photos are, are looking to the left and I normally don't like that at all. I just don't. And so I just thought, you know what? it is what it is. I'm, I'm just going to put all my photos, you know, going like this, um, to where they're looking off to the left. And I tried to put in this, this gorgeous washi. It is gorgeous, but it is the wrong shade of purple. It wasn't, it was too, it was too dark. Uh, it just was not the shade that I was going for. And so I brought in this silver, like holographic star washi that I had. Um, I do remember where this came from. It came in a kit from Stampin' Up! And it was like their, oh, what is it? Like their magical set. So it came with, um, it came in a collection that had dragons and princes and um, unicorns and uh, wizards. So that's where the set came from. In fact, it came with a cute little blue, like blue holographic stripe as well. So I remembered. Yay. Not that you guys can see it in the final results. I mean, I do end up covering up a most of it, just like the, um, the teeny tiny little border, but I like it. So I'm going to put my title down. I don't make you guys watch me put it down multiple times. Um, it, you, you get what it says. Um, it says sparkle every day. That's going to be my title. Um, because I kind of wanted to use that sparkle word again. I, I am influenced by Tinkerbell. Um, it, I know she's not on here. I know it's kind of only me and my daughter will notice, but, um, I just wanted to, you know, I, this whole page is inspired by the fact that we're wearing Tinkerbell shirts and that's it. It's kind of a, an inside thing that is not going to be mentioned anywhere, but it's, you know, my daughter and I will know if that makes sense. So yeah, so I, I fiddled with the title for just a little bit until I liked the placement and I did not make you guys watch all of that stuff. I'm not going to make you guys watch me put it down on the layout either because it's just, it's, it's annoying. So I, you know, I'm just going to put it in this blank space. It says sparkle every day. I absolutely love that. I think that it helps with the flow going across the page instead of, um, you know, I'm forcing this layout to go in multiple directions and my, my polka dots on that green are going in multiple directions as well. And I didn't realize that <laughs> it's blatantly obvious right now, but I did not know that um, it, in the layout, you can't really see it. So this little purple sticker, um, it was a little bit darker at the top. So I was trying to hide that. And it says, uh, you're pretty much my favorite. Because <laughs> I just love this photo, you guys. Um, I could be talking about my child. I could be talking about the photo. No one will know why I put that there. But that's okay. And it's actually the photo. This photo is my favorite. She is just like hanging. <laughs> and enjoying the ride. And I, I absolutely, I absolutely love that. And so this little long sticker says um, that this was the most amazing week. I just want this was um, amazing. That's it. So the most in week get to stay on the sheet. And I, it says this uh, was amazing because it pretty much was. Uh, I love this ride. This is one of my favorite rides. And sometimes it you know, sometimes it's scary and sometimes it's not. I don't know. It's just one of those weird things. So I am putting all of my black see-through stickers on the photos in the dead spaces. Um, I just want to bring your eye across, you know, across the layout. I want it to move around. And when I put like Easter eggs, I guess is what it is, um, throughout the entire layout, then it makes people go look for them and then they're actually looking at the layout. So I, I really like, I really enjoy doing it. Um, I really enjoy putting things on my photo to incorporate the photo in the layout. 
So, and I, I know that it bothers some people, but it just, it doesn't bother me. Now, these um, gems or, yeah, they're not even enamel dots. They're gems. They are uber old. And I, you know, this whole pack, because I don't, I don't scrapbook purple. I just don't. I, I've had these in my stash for the longest of times. And I actually have to go in and glue them all down. Yeah, how obnoxious it is. Uh, but I do have to say that I am super stoked that I used some purple. I really, really dug into my purple that is not very big. My purple bulky bin is actually not in the same area as all of my other color bins. Um, just because it's it's super tiny. It's like 3 by 12 it's really, it's really small, but I do enjoy, um, I do enjoy the color purple. I, it's not my favorite, but, um, it's, it's a, it's an out there color. And when you do a layout that is, um, all purple or, or all, you know, yeah, all purple, it sticks out in your album. It really does. This one sticks out and it's noticeable. Like you can see like, oh wow. And people stop and look at this one. It's not like, oh, another color. Oh, another color. No, it's purple. And they stop and stare at it. And I don't know. It's just, it must just be, um, you know, the, the reaction that purple gets. I don't know. But we do need more purple in our lives. So I am super stoked that I got to use up almost all, all of those um, glittered gems or whatever they are. I, I really do like the fact that, um, you know, I, I just, I didn't stop. I just put them everywhere. I, I didn't, you know, like keep to a code. <laughs> so I am taking some of these puffy stars and just adding them more to the layout. I, I'm trying to get the flow. That was my finger showing you guys the flow that I was looking for. Because again, I want my eye to go, you know, from the left bottom corner up to the right corner. And so when I make my embellishments do the flow, then I get you know, I get my eye to do what it, what I wanted it to do. So here are the close-ups. I absolutely love how my purple layout turned out with a little bit of splash of green. I do like the fact that I used the green um, on the photo mats because of the fact that, um, you know, I just, I was really worried about mixing the two colors to begin with. So did I forget to mention that this is for She's Crafty, the little mini paper pad class that she is doing for 10 weeks. This is week number two, and I am so super stoked to be joining. Please check out everyone else in the link below, and I will check you guys next week. See ya!